Howdy y'all, this is Proverbs 3 in the RSV for December 3rd, 2023. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For a length of days and years of life and abundant welfare will they give you. Let not loyalty and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck, write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and good repute in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh, and refreshment to your bones. <clears throat> Honor the Lord with your substance, and with the first fruits of all your produce. Of all your produce. Then your barns will be filled with plenty, and your vats will be bursting with wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, or be weary of his reproof. For the Lord reproves him whom he loves, as a father and the son in whom he delights. Happy is the man who finds wisdom, and the man who gets understanding. For the gain from it is better than gain from silver, and its profit is better than gold. She is more precious than jewels, and nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who lay hold of her. Those who hold her fast are called happy. The Lord, by wisdom, founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deeps broke forth, and the clouds dropped down the dew. My son, keep sound wisdom and discretion. Let them not escape from your sight, and they will be life for your soul and adornment for your neck. Then you will walk on your way securely, and your foot will not stumble. If you sit down, you will not be afraid, and when you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Do not be afraid of sudden panic or the ruin, or of the ruin of the wicked when it comes, for the Lord will be your confidence, and will keep your foot from being caught. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to do it. Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come again, tomorrow I will give it, when you have it with you. Do not plan evil against your neighbor who dwells trustingly beside you. Do not contend with a man for no reason, when he's done you no harm. Do not envy a man of violence, and do not choose any of his ways. For the perverse man is an abomination to the Lord, but the upright are his confidence, are in his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the abode of the righteous. Toward the scorners he is scornful, but to the humble he shows favor. The wise will inherit honor, but fools get disgrace. Sorry, very early in the morning, and um, I did have some coffee, first delivery. Somebody was willing to, or chose to bless me and ask you want some coffee you want some friday morning coffee it's like in the food that i'm setting up so once i was done it was like you sure yeah i would like some coffee so thank you lord for the work thank you lord for the car to get me there thank you for the people that i work for and the blessings that they bestow upon me from time to time so small things can have a big effect i sure appreciate my coffee I did run home so that I can make some because I have two more jobs and then hopefully we'll continue to work throughout the day. Got to make sure the kiddos are up and starting their day as well. Three is a bit of a reiteration of two. It hammers on you again. Put the stuff in your brain. Write it on your heart. Have it with you. Right? But I really love the picture of wisdom here where... She has riches and honor and long life in her hands. All you have to do is embrace her and walk with her. This is a verse that lots of people know, and I know it to the point that I have to watch myself as I read these, especially because I've read so much Proverbs, that I my brain goes on autopilot. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, right? Nope, not in the RSV. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own insight. I like that. I like that. We like to think like, oh, I'm so insightful. I'm special. I have a special revelation. I've figured things out. I know the right way to go. My gut tells me what to do. The heart of a man is above all else deceitful. So do not rely on your own insight. Hit your knees. Pray to the Father. Get word from the boss, you know. Trust in the Lord. But what does that look like? In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he'll make straight your paths. Both when people are watching and when nobody but the Father's watching. you got to be operating in the proper paradigm. It's not, I said a prayer one time, sinner's prayer, and I got fire insurance. Lord willing to grant those people entry into heaven because they did acknowledge him. But when you don't walk with him, you don't know him. And what does he say? Depart, I never knew you. So we need to be around him to know him. So in all your ways, acknowledge him. We're seeking his wisdom. We're applying it to our hearts. We're looking through that lens as we do life and as we choose our actions. Again, insight, your own insight is deceitful. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. The simplest way to stay out of trouble is to stay out of trouble. Just go the other way. When you see something that you shouldn't be involved in, don't be involved in it. When you see something that's not right, that you can do something about it, do something about it, right? I struggled over this because I, sometimes as I'm reading, I'm having like internal monologue, right? Honor with the Lord, honor the Lord with your substance and with the first fruits of all your produce. But brain, brain's like with the first fruits of of all your produce, all you produce. Money, things, right? Not just produce, like, you know, we think the produce department, fruit, veg. I, I, don't, I don't think that's quite what that means, especially given what we see with Cain and Abel. Now, that was an allegory to sacrifice and blood being shed and what was good enough. I don't know that it was necessarily about the tithe itself, other than the point being made that there had to be atonement, and that was a separate thing than just tithing what you have and contributing what you have. But we should be giving the Lord the, the cream of the crop. We should be taking off the top for God, right? and counterintuitive to what the world says like well if you do that you'll be empty well if you do that then your barns will be filled with plenty and your vats will be bursting forth with wine you'll have more than you can deal with so then you can just give more and then you'll have more than you can deal with and then you can just give more than that it's a it's a happy little cycle it's a hard race to keep going every day right and to maintain this proper perspective and to do what we're supposed to do. But it says, don't get weary. Don't get weary of his reproof because he reproves who we love. So, you know, as we confront ourselves and try to get better, it's hard to not just say, ah, I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. I, I have no answer to that. It's hard. taking hold of wisdom long life oops sorry long life in her right hand riches and honor in her left if you just seek this or you just seek safety and long life you're going to miss it you're going to miss wisdom and you're going to miss life so seek wisdom she'll walk with you and make your ways straight and then maybe you'll have access to the things that she's holding all her her ways are pleasantness, all her paths are peace. Through wisdom, we don't go into... I gotta watch my words, because if I say we don't go into non-peaceful situations, like sometimes we're going to be called into unpleasant situations. 
even violent situations, we likely won't be the ones to be called to do violence, but that's not pleasantness or peaceful. But in the end, we stand up for what's right, acknowledge the Lord, he'll acknowledge us. Don't fear the person that can kill the body, you know, fear the one that can cast the soul into hell. I, I like that your sleep will be sweet. If you sit down, you'll not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Life for your soul and adornment for your neck, right? Just constantly hanging more knowledge, more understanding on ourselves. And specifically, do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to do it. Don't say to your neighbor, go and come again. Tomorrow I'll give it to you. But also, this is, in other parts, we're instructed to like save people from death and from false accusations and to take care of them and stand up for what is right. Again, the situation we may find ourselves in might not be pleasant, but the ways of wisdom are pleasant. You understand? The action, the choice is pleasant. Even if the blowback from it temporarily is not. Toward the scorners, he's scornful, but to the humble, he shows favor. I'm going to kill it if I try to relay it. But it was, there was a minister of government giving a speech, an anti-Israeli speech. And when he finished it about Israel will never win, he finished his speech and then keeled over and smack the uh, marble floor so I think they were able to stabilize him and get him back I, I I know he had a heart attack I don't recall if he was permadeath or not either way the Lord will not be mocked and toward the scorners he's scornful so I think we're going to see an increase in more rapid plain judgment as people get bolder and more vulgar. But to the humble he shows favor. Keep humble. The wise inherit honor and fools get disgrace. There's no benefit to not seeking wisdom. It might be hard, but we need to seek it as if for treasure, right? Like yesterday. Adventuring, looking for treasure is hard, but worth it if you find it. I'm going to go inside and find myself some coffee. So go with God. Be blessed.